What's up guys? Uh, quick little video. Um, it's not going to be with my tank this time. It's going to be with my uncle. Now let's see if I can reverse this. I so can't. This is Geeky right here. Um, we're going to do his fish tank. Now, as you can see, this is his fish tank right here. I just set up a few life plants. Uh, there's a zebra, Danio, at the bottom right there. Um, his water before was pretty yellow. Um, we're trying to figure out what it was. I just did a maybe about a 60% water change. Sorry for that. A 60% water change. Now today what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, change out this um, heater here. This I believe was a little chippy top fin for a five to 10 gallon tank. Uh, I just put on this um, temperature little thermostat thing here on the side. Um, letting it wait for a little bit, see what the actual temperature of that is. Um, now the water right now is kind of cloudy, but it is a lot better than it was. Unfortunately, uh, my uncle woke up to the female Bolivian ram dead. Um, the male and the female here were um, paired up. She was doing perfectly fine, he said. Um, yeah, when I woke up, when I woke up, it was already dead. And before I went to sleep, it was already, it was already, it was, it was still swimming. All right, guys, so as you can see, um, something happened with this tank. I did some, um, I used these here, if you can see the API 5-in-1 strips. Um, I tested his water. His water right now seems to be, seems to be okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how the tank looks after with adding the life plants. Um, he still has just his one Bolivian male ram now with his five zebra Daniel. So we're gonna see how it turns out with all the heater and all that set up. And we'll show you which uh, heater we're actually gonna be uh, installing here. This is the heater that we're gonna be using for the 10 gallon tank. Yeah, I know it says up to 29 and I'm just glad that this is adjustable. The one he using isn't, it's supposed to be set at 75. But you know, I don't really trust those that are set. This one here, I'm planning on having him take over that 20 gallon tank that I have right now. So this is gonna be perfect. So when he does that transition, but right now we definitely just want this heater to be accurate and perfect. So couldn't go any better than Marine Land. Um, of course, the one I'm using is um, Aqua Aqua Clear, I believe it is. I'm not too sure. Definitely look, uh, look into that and let you guys know which one I use. But this one isn't as bad either. Heard some pretty good stuff. Of course, give me your input on what you think about this um, heater here. Alrighty, so here it is. The final project. This is how my uncle chose his setup. Yeah, the water is going to take a little bit to uh, clear up. Wait about a day, maybe, and see how the outcome comes. We are going to have to add a little bit more substrate into this, um, just to fill out the roots and all that stuff. Um, they're amazing plants, perfect. Help out cleaning out this water, filtering it out. So we'll see day by day, get a progress, get a couple days, and uh, let you guys know how it is. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it.